just kind of itching to get back, uh, you know, skating again every day. You know, you kind of get tired of being in the gym so long. Um, so it's great to be back here with everyone. Uh, but summer was good. Graduated from college, which was nice to get that over with and uh, close that chapter. And, um, you know, looking forward to kind of starting a new one now. How exciting is it to have a game to prepare for tomorrow now? Yeah, really excited. I feel like it's been a long time since I've played a game. Um, but I'm really looking forward to kind of getting the summer hockey, you know, habits out of me and, and playing real hard hockey with, you know, some contact and competition uh, right away. So I'm really looking forward to it. Is that what you're hoping to accomplish going into this weekend just to sort of get that game feeling back? Or how do you approach a weekend like this? Yeah, I think it's it's that. It's important to, like you said, get your game feeling back, um, you know, get your legs under you, be a little bit more prepared for camp. But at the same time, um, you know, I want to showcase myself and I, and I want to prove myself and uh, and show what I can do. So it's like, uh, you know, you're also you're getting prepared. You're trying to get ready as best you can. But at the end of the day, like I'm trying to show what I can do. So, um, you know, kind of focusing on those two things. What have you heard about this tournament and the fan support here in Penticton and, and what to expect tomorrow? Yeah, I've heard Penticton's beautiful. It definitely is. Uh, driving in here with all the mountains and um, you know the lakes, it's it's really beautiful out here. Uh, I've had a few friends that played in the BCHL here, and they loved it. Um, but I've heard from guys that have played in this. It's a blast. The fan support for the Canucks are awesome, and um, it's really important to get these game like situations in before camp. I've heard going into camp after this tournament, they felt a lot better than guys that you know maybe hadn't done it. So um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully use that to my advantage your size and your strength that something can help you stand out in this event yeah i think um one of the older guys i think um but i'm still young in terms of my pro experience so i definitely like to use my size and my strength to my advantage anytime i can um you know we got some big boys in our team i'm sure there's some big guys on the other teams too but um you know i think especially down below the dots i try to use that to my advantage as much as i can what was different about your uh, your preparation your summer routine this year compared to uh, past summers yeah it was a lot different i think um you kind of have those same goals at the beginning of every summer uh, of what you want to work on but i think this year um, I was much more clear focused on them because I got the support and the help uh, from the organization of kind of exactly what I need to work on, you know, what I can do to look forward. Um, I wasn't working out at school anymore, so I was pretty much working out with pro professional players the whole entire summer. Uh, worked a lot more on my skating, a lot more on my quickness. Um, so it was a bit more focused and, and narrowed in compared to, you know, previous summers where you're just looking to get bigger and faster, but now it's kind of, you know, more detailed on those two things. And who was, uh, who was in that practice crew with you? Oh, and back home. Yeah. Um, we had a great group. Uh, Jack Rathbone, obviously, uh, worked out with him. Um, Ryan Donato, um, Kevin Hayes, Matty Beniers. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Nick Abrazizi, Sean Farrell, Henry Thrun, um, Mike Lombardi, Billy Sweezy. So we have a great group back home that we're able to train with and push each other, which is great.